Yo, what is up guys, it's Pedro here and in today's video I'll be talking about a player that I think could really change the Washington Commanders 2023 season. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and that notification bell as well. The season is about to start, so you're going to want to make sure you're tuned in because a bunch of great content is coming. And just like that, the week one of the NFL season is here. We got the first game of the season. I believe it's the Chiefs and the Lions in a few days and the Commanders game a few days after that. So a bunch of things are going to go on this week. I believe they'll release the depth chart. I'll talk about that. Injury reports are going to be very, very key, but I'm excited that the season is finally happening and at least for the start of it we can be excited about what this team can do so i want to talk about one player in particular but we'll talk about some other guys that could change their you know the commander's season with their performance so the obvious one is sam howell but i'm not going to talk about that because of course if he plays well we're going to you know the, the team's going to be good pretty much no matter what let's talk about the the topic of today's video the player i really wanted to highlight because i think you know his performance could really push this defense over the edge, over the top. I think you guys know who I'm talking about, and that is Mr. Chase Young. And there's a lot of different factors playing here. One, is he gonna be healthy? Will he play week one? And if he plays week one, is he going to be at 100%? Right now, it's in question if he's playing week one. I think at max, he's gonna miss one game, but you never know with Chase Young and these injuries. Last year, we thought he was gonna be you know, be playing like week 10, week 11, or even earlier, like week nine, and he ended up playing like whatever, week 14. So that last year was a weird situation. This year so far seems a little bit weird. They've been saying it's a stinger. Seems like it's something else, but I've covered this a lot. So, or I made a whole video about it a couple of days, a few days ago, if you guys wanna go ahead and check that out. But Chase Young, we drafted him in 2020 with the second overall pick. Head of guys like Justin Herbert, you know, some really good players in that draft, but especially Justin Herbert. And at the time, no one was saying for us to take Justin Herbert over him, but still, number two overall pick. And so far, he has not lived up to the hype. In his rookie year, he did live up to the hype. He won defensive rookie of the year, and the second half of the season, he was amazing. Second season was really underwhelming in the first half of the season then towards ACL and we really haven't been able to see him yet so we only got to see one full season of him so that's why I'm not writing him off but he's got to stay healthy but the thing is let's look at his stats in that 2020 season so the beginning he had a really good game against the Eagles had two or one and a half sacks should add another one but I think there was a penalty if I remember correctly then you got a sack against Arizona then he got hurt in that Browns game I believe he got hurt in that Browns game. So he missed that game and, or he missed like the, whatever, three quarters of that game and missed the Ravens game. And he wasn't healthy. And then once they played the Bengals, I think before that game or after that game, he was like, this is the first time in a while I feel healthy. He had that big hit against Joe Burrow. And then after that, he really started balling, he had a sack against the Cowboys, had, you know, okay game against the Steelers had a sack and a touchdown and a forced fumble in the game against the 49ers had some, some nice tackles in the Seahawks game and then had a sack in the Panthers game a sack in the Eagles game and a forced fumble also in that Panthers game against whatever the backup tackle was I remember the backup tackle came in Chase is like he's getting smoked or said something like that and then he got to the quarterback and forced the fumble so I think you saw what Chase Young was able to do in that second half of the season. He was a really, really good pass rusher. He changed games, and it wasn't just about the sacks. You know, the sacks were good in the second half. Overall, he had seven and a half sacks, and, you know, that's good for a rookie, but over the second half of the year, like, if you go, let's say, where's the Bengals game? Even, like, week 11 to week 17, so that's, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games, he had one, two, three, four four sacks in seven games and then you know two forced fumbles or three forced fumbles and three fumble recoveries and a touchdown like he had a really good you know seven game stretch right there and if he is able to replicate that and even do better than that over a full season this defense which was really good in terms of their rankings last year could go from being a good to maybe even elite defense to being the best or one of the best defenses in the NFL. Because 
let's keep it real last year you know even though they were the third ranked defense they did not play against great competition so i think the commander's defense this year could be better than it is last year than it was last year without the rankings going up too much or it could even go down a little bit but the defense overall is better but if chase young is you know lives up to you know where we drafted him and he's that player he's that player that okay that number two overall pick you know heisman not runner up he, he was very you know maybe third in heisman votes if he is that player that we draft with the number two overall pick this defense could be the best defense in the nfl because you already know jonathan allen and deron Payne. that's the best defensive tackle duo in the nfl they're both pro bowl players then montez sweat at the minimum we know we're getting seven eight nine sacks from him but he has that potential to get you 11 12 sacks he's just always a little bit too late but he's got that potential and then chase young he's really the boomer bust and if he plays really really well there's just no way opposing offenses will be able to stop us or it will be able to you know score on us a lot especially after we added emmanuel forbes you know, Benjamin St. Juice apparently has had a really good camp and off season. You got Cam Curl, you got Derek Forrest, and really his second year starting. You got Percy Butler, who's been balling. Like, you got a lot of really good guys in that, you know, secondary. And the linebacking core is the question mark, but Jamin Davis is good enough, you know, with that D line and that secondary to be effective and has the potential to be really good. And then you also got, what's his name? Cody Barton, who's okay could be better than that but you know we'll see the depth isn't great there but the depth in the secondary is good the d-line depth before this you know last couple weeks was good but then Federer mathis chase young and fa obata all dealing with injuries but that d-line depth when it's healthy it's good you got ridgeway in there as well but if chase young man if he is that wrecking you know ball you know that he was in the second half of 2020 which is a long time ago but if he's that player there's just no way opposing offenses will be able to stop Chase Young, Montez Sweat, Deron Payne, and Jonathan Allen. Because, hey, they'll, they'll go ahead and double-team Chase Young. That's fine. If he's that player that he was in the in his rookie season, he might be able to beat those double-teams. But if not, Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne, and Montez Sweat are going to be, you know, one-on-one -on -one with guys. That, that That's just not fair. That really is not fair. And a huge shout out to BetUS for sponsoring this video. BetUS is the leading online sports betting company and the NFL season is about to start. You know, the Chiefs, Lions games on Thursday night. You can bet on that. Week one, of course, Sunday. Cardinals, Commanders, if you want to bet on that, you can. They've got every sport you can think of. You guys can look on the left there. All of them right there that you can bet on. They get, You can, you know, do live bets, parlays, futures. And if you use my link down below, in the description, you get a 125% first time deposit match. So if you decide to deposit $100, you'll get $225 to play with. And again, there's so many different bets you can make. This is a reliable company. They're very secure and they've got great, great customer service. So go ahead, use that link in the description. Let me know if you do it in the comment section below. And as usual, bet responsibly they're yeah, going back to chase young it really is like simple if he if he stays healthy and if he plays really well for the commanders he's gonna get paid by us and you know maybe he'll try to test free agency but i think he would resign with us but this is his last chance or not i mean i don't know he's gonna get another contract but if he wants to get a big big payday like right now in his prime because what is he 24 years old around that if he wants to get paid a ton of money he's got to go out and show out this year have a 12 13 plus sack season he'll get paid for sure if not he'll get a second contract or he'll get a one-year prove it deal for a decent amount of money but you know this is the year he's got to stay healthy and he's got to ball out even if he doesn't though he's going to be better than what we had at deal you know you know james Smith williams or casey tool because he's a good really good run defender and he can get some pressures and sacks like he had what one and a half two sacks before his injury but like there was one where it's the bs like he you know barely touched matt ryan he fell to the ground and they called roughing the passer and there's like one or two that called yeah, got called back so like if you you know do that instead that's like three and a half four and obviously that's not what you expected but that's on you know on pace for like eight sacks seven sacks which is not great but again much better than the one and a half sacks that we were talking about let's go on to some other guys that i think really 
could affect the commander's season with their performance. Like we already know Terry's going to be good. Jahan, you know, we have a good feeling about him. And a lot of these guys, like there's not a huge range, like Curtis Samuel, Brian Robinson, like Gibson's one that maybe could, but Jamin Davis, I feel like he has a big range. Like he could be okay. Maybe even like not great at the linebacker position, but he has the potential to be a very good linebacker in this league. And I think this is the year, like, if he doesn't have a good year this year, then that's like, okay, the ship has sailed of him being an elite linebacker in this league. At that point, after three years, you kind of know what a player is, especially like at the linebacker position, positions like that. Quarterback's a little bit different, especially if they didn't get a lot of playing time. But Jamin Davis, Davis has gotten a lot of playing time. This is the year for him to show out. He has to. And, you know, if he plays okay, that's fine. But it just, you know, if he wants to get a big contract, kind of like Chase Young, he needs to show up this year or the next year, but preferably this year. And that, you know, the linebacker, you know, linebacking core, I believe, is the weakness of this team on defense. So if he, you know, balls out, maybe gets a few sacks like he did last year, a little bit better in coverage, makes a few splash plays. Like I need to, I want to see him force a turnover this year, like either a, for, a you know, force fumble or an interception. He hasn't done it yet. So he's got to go ahead and do that. And I think that would be a good season for him. It would really help out this commander's defense. I mean, Emmanuel Forbes is one that definitely could change the season if he has a lot of interceptions and a solid in coverage. That could really help out the commanders. And then on the offensive line, there's so many guys. I think Cosby's going to be good. I think Sadiq Charles is a guy that, like, he could negatively, you know, change the commander's season. But if he plays well, that would really, really be a huge help for them and then same thing with like Cole Turner like you know I'm not expecting a ton from him but if he can ball out while you know if Logan Thomas is hurt or anything like that which I think Logan Thomas is going to play but that would really help out the commanders as well so those are kind of some guys that you know they have a big range and depending on their range could really affect the commander season so for me it's Chase Young for sure Jamin Davis you throw those two in there you know definitely and then some other guys you know Gibson if he really is more efficient this year as a runner and use more as a pass catcher he could definitely help out the commanders and then you know some of the guys in the offensive line as well like Andrew Wiley he's definitely boomer bust but yeah that's it for today's video hope you guys did enjoy if you did hit that like button subscribe if you guys are new and peace